relates to the video study of uh, a case of uh, gallbladder pathology in which you can see that the lumen contains, uh, th this is the gallbladder, this is the anterior wall, the posterior wall, and you see the number of calculi, tiny though, ranging not more than two millimeters, and this one giving sharp posterior shadow, uh, with small amount of fluid, posterior to this is seen within the gallbladder. Not only this, now you see that the gallbladder wall is thick and is surrounded by thin fluid line. Uh, you see, this is the anterior wall of the gallbladder. We have approximately so five millimeters. Anything more than four is pathological. This is gallbladder, and uh, this is the fluid surrounding the anterior wall as well as the fundal region of the gallbladder. So this is pericolecystitis. can see fluid all around the gallbladder with calculi suspended in the this is transfer section of the gallbladder with gallbladder measuring 5.5 centimeters more than 5 is abnormal <coughs> with calculi this is arrows are indicative of Calculi within the gallbladder lumen that are mobile. Now this is the posterior wall of the gallbladder. This is the anterior wall of the gallbladder. This is the fluid part uh, surrounding the. This is the fluid that is surrounding the posterior wall of the gallbladder. And uh, here we see fluid surrounding the anterior wall of the uh, gallbladder in transverse section. So this is uh, pericholecystitis, called pericholecystitic fluid. This is the pericholecystic fluid. This is the anterior, the gallbladder thick equigenic wall. This is the gallbladder lumen. And these are the calculi suspended uh, within the gallbladder lumen. So this is a case of uh, acute cholecystitis. <coughs> with polycystolithiasis with uh, no dilation of the intrahepatic bile duct. There is no evidence uh, of obstruction. The common bile duct is not dilated. Thank you.